welcome to our channel in this session we will discuss dependency graph okay under this dependency graph we will discuss what is the dependency graph what is the difference between annotated parse tree and the dependency graph how it is useful simply the dependency graph is used to represent the flow of information among the attributes in a parse tree that means we are constructed a parse tree and how we are calculating the value that means in which order the attributes are evaluated that means the flow of information or it determines the evaluation of order in which order the attributes are evaluated that are specified by using dependency graph simply the main aim is it helps the compiler to check for various types of dependencies between the statements that means if you have more than one number of statement we have to check the type of dependencies between the statements so why to prevent the incorrect execution order that means to maintain the current sequence of execution okay simply annotated parse tree shows the values of attributes at each and every node we are specifying the values of attribute that is called annotated parse tree but a dependency graph determines how these values are computed so in simple straightforward notation dependency graph specifies the evaluation order in which order the attributes are executed to get the final result okay consider one example assume these are the productions and these are the semantic rules of each and every production consider an input string assume an input string 5 plus 3 into 4 now for this input string you have to write the dependency graph the procedure is same first to write down the parse tree convert the parse tree into annotated parse tree and then show the flow of information okay first to e e tends to i already discussed to separate do differentiation between the parent and child we are using e e1 in the parse tree, you can directly write like this E plus T. Okay. So, for this, it is fine. Now, E tends to T. E tends to T. T tends to F. F tends to digit. F tends to digit. Right. Now, here T. So, here we need this one. So, T tends to T star f t star f now this one t tends to f f tends to digit here f tends to digit generally this is the parse tree here you are converting the parse tree into annotated parse tree like this digit dot lex value is equal to what is my value 5 here my value is equal to 3 here dot lex value is equal to 4 now f dot value f where is f f f dot value is equal to digit lex value so f dot value is equal to 5 now t dot value is equal to T gets the value from F. That means synthesized an attribute. T dot value is equal to 5. Now, here also, F dot value is equal to 3. T dot value is equal to 3. Here, F dot value is equal to 4. Here, what is E dot value? 
e dot value is equal to 5. What is t dot value? t dot value is equal to child t dot value f dot value 12. Now e dot value is equal to e value plus t value 17. You got it very simple. Rush to I am constructing the parser tree. The parser tree is converted into annotated parser tree. Now what is your aim? Dependency graph. Dependency graph shows the flow of information or in which order. First, step by step, I will write down number one. First, this statement is executed, right? From this, we are moving into this one. That is, this is the next statement. Now, moving into this one, this is the third. Here, the number specifies the order of execution from this to this one, fourth, right? After that, if you are calculating it, you require both E and T. That is the reason. Next one, this statement is executed. We are moving into F. This one is executed. We are moving into this one. This statement is executed. Obviously, you understand this one. This to this. This is 9. Now, whenever you are getting these two values, we are getting this value. Whenever we are getting these two values, that means this one. Finally, move to the 11th statement. This is the dependency graph. That means in the dependency graph, we are showing the arrow marks in which order the statements are executed. Okay. Thank you.